a crown jewel of the North Carolina coast and Hammocks Beach State Park is Bear Island. Bear Island is one of the most unspoiled beaches on the Atlantic coast, accessible only by passenger ferry or private boat. Hammocks Beach State Park is also a great place to hike, fish, and camp. Come join us as we explore Hammocks Beach State Park here in Swansboro, North Carolina and see what it's all about. Entrance fee to Hammock Beach State Park is free. All parks in North Carolina are free to the public with the exception of Fall Lake, Jordan Lake, and Curry Lake. Our first stop is at the Visitor Center. At the Visitor Center, they had a neat museum that highlights the wildlife that occupied the park. The big highlight is the sea turtles. The park is also deep in history dating back to the Native Americans, pirates, the Civil War, and World War II. Hammock Beach was also the only beach in the state of North Carolina that African Americans could go to during the era of racial segregation. The park was later integrated as a public park with the Federal Civil Rights Act in 1964. One of the few ways to access Bear Island is through the Park Passenger Ferry. Round trip fees for adults 13 years and older is $6, children 3 to 12 is $4, and children 2 and under are free. You can also reach Bear Island through kayaks or canoes if you're feeling adventurous. Bring your own or rent them here at the park. Bear Island is just 2 miles from Hammocks Beach State Park. We purchase our tickets and ready to ride the ferry. Average time to get to Bear Island is about 15 minutes. I'll leave the Hammock Beach State Park ferry schedule in a link in the description. Once you're on the boat, they discuss the do's and don'ts while riding the ferry. Now just sit back and enjoy the ride. Once you arrive on Bear Island, you have to walk about a half mile to the beach. On our visit, they had some shuttles going. We decided to walk and stretch our legs. This short hike to the beach has limited shading. We decided to get a ride and we still had some hiking to do after the beach. The folks who shuttle you are volunteers and are very friendly. On the beach access area, they have restrooms with showers and a concession stand for snacks. Now we're ready to hit the beach. Bear Island is a four mile long underdeveloped barrier island and what's great about this beach, it's never crowded. Whether you're beach camping or making a day trip, it's a great beach to relax, walk along the shore and swim. Hammocks Beach State Park is one of the most unspoiled beach areas on the Atlantic coast. It's a beach you have to visit when in North Carolina. You can camp on the beach here on Bear Island. Hammock Beach has 11 primitive campsites, 3 group sites, and 3 boat-in only campsites. I'll leave the link to official Hammocks Beach State Park website in the description if you wanted to learn more about camping here at the park. We walked a half mile back to catch the ferry. They had a nice wheat area with shade. We enjoyed our visit at the beach. Now we kick back and enjoy our ride back to Hammocks Beach. You will see plenty of folks boating, kayaking and jet skiing. Now we're ready to hit the trail. The park trails are short and sweet. The trails were mostly flat, sandy, and had plenty of shade. The first trail we visited was the Live Oak Trail. This loop trail difficulty is considered easy and has a distance of 0.5. 
The trails here at Hammocks Beach State Park were well marked. These trails are great for all skill levels and great for families. The next trail is another short trail, the Evergreen Trail, with a difficulty of moderate with a distance of 0.3 one way. Enjoy this short hike that connects to the Coastal French Trail. The Coastal French Trail difficulty is moderate and has a distance of 0.8. This loop trail has you hiking through coastal upland forests with three boardwalks. The Hickory Bluff Trail has some nice views of the water. We had a chance to see plenty of small crabs walk along the shore. This is a short hike of 0.5 with the difficulty of moderate. So what did you think of Hammocks Beach State Park, the crown jewel of the North Carolina coast? What's your favorite beach on the Atlantic coast? I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. We enjoy hiking and traveling to Texas State Parks and beyond. Subscribe to Mr. S Travel Quest to learn more before you visit a state park. Check out our Beyond Texas playlist for parks we visit outside Texas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.